One of the things that I really like about GA4 is that when you put the GA4 configuration tag on a website, it tracks things like file downloads, form submits, site searches, but it doesn't make those things very easy to report on. So what we're going to do now is look at the view search results event, which is the one that tracks site searches, people who search on your website, and how to make that reportable in Looker Studio, as well as creating a custom report in GA4 itself. So the first thing I would like to do is have a look at that view search results event and understand how it relates to the dimensions and metrics we're going to be using. To see how an event works, what I like to do is go to Google Tag Assistant, which is tagassistant.google.com, and then open the website I want to look at. And what this will do is it enables debug mode for Google Analytics. So then what I can do is in Google Analytics, I can go down here to debug view and I can see the events that I'm sending to Google Analytics and see specific event parameters. Let's have a look at what happens when I do a search. So if I go here, I go to the blog and I'll do just search for GA4. Now, one thing I want to point out here is see how up here in the URL, we've got this question mark S equals GA4. So that's often how search works on a website is that when you do a search, it'll show this parameter and it actually uses that parameter to process the search. And that's going to be important. I'll explain why in a second. Let's go back here. Here you see this view search results event. When I click on the event, it shows me the parameters associated with the event. And what do we have? We've got search term right here. And you see that it says GA4. So it registered that search. The way this event works is the event happens when a URL has a search parameter in it. And you can see the list of those search parameters if you go to data streams two Octobers, and then if I click on this gear icon and site search show advanced settings, and you see here it says search term query parameter, and we've got Q, S, search, query, keyword. On a given website, it may be something different, and you can actually add a different parameter here if it works differently on your website. Sometimes search functionality doesn't have a URL parameter. And again, you know, as a reminder, the URL parameter is just anything after the question mark, you have something equals. So that the name value pair and the name here is S equals GA4, which is the, the search term. That's how the view search results event works. And then there's a search term parameter that's associated with that event. And that parameter is what populates the search term dimension in GA4. Again, just events sort of happen behind the scenes. Events have parameters. In the case of the search term dimension in GA4, it gets populated by that search term parameter. Okay, so that's how it works. Now let's do a, just a, a simple search term report in Looker Studio. Okay, I'm in Looker Studio. Got a blank tab here. The simple version I'm going to show you, I'm going to just in, insert a table here. And then my table is connecting to this sample GA4 data source. I always want to check your data source before you start doing anything. And what I can do is add search term. And then I'm going to add event count. And I'm going to show you a different way to do this. But first, I'm just going to add event count. So now this is showing the number of events associated with each search term does have this blank row at the top, which is because there are a lot of events that are not searches on a website. And it's the view search results event that we care about. If I want to see just that, then I can just add a filter here. I can create a filter and to say event, event name equals view search result. Save that. And now you can see, so now we're, we got rid of that blank row and we're only looking at view search results events. And if I wanted to make this, you know, for the table itself, I can always change the metric name and I can change that to searches. 
And that's pretty nice. I mean, this is a pretty passable report right here. I am going to show you a slightly different way of doing it, but without it in custom metric, you can see it's pretty easy to just add a table with searches in it. The next thing I'm going to show you is adding a custom metric to count searches. There's a couple of reasons I like to do that. One is I like having that metric as something that I can report on alongside other metrics. So if I wanted to show conversions and uh, average session duration and other things, now I have a searches metric that I can use along with other metrics. Doing that event count, like using that as a column, the problem with event count as a column is if I then do like the filter for the event name equals view search results, then it's gonna botch up any other kind of report I wanna look at. So I'm gonna show you how to create a custom metric that we can use instead of doing the, the filtering on view search results. So it gives you more flexibility. And then the other thing it enables you to do is to create a custom report in J4. So let's have a look at doing that. So I'm gonna go over to GA4, is that a here? So I wanna add a custom metric that counts when people do searches. And the way I'm gonna do that is if you go to the events section in the admin part of GA4, you, you see this modify event? Well, with this modify event capability, what we can do is we can add parameters to an event. And that matters here because when you create custom dimensions or metrics in GA4, you are associating them with a event parameter I mentioned that search term is a parameter of view search results and search term populates the search term dimension. In this case, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a parameter that we can use to create the metric that we want. And I've already done that here. So you see this add count parameter to view search results. Let's have a look at what this is doing. So what I'm doing is with this interface, I can go and I can say, if the event name equals view search results, then I want to add, remove, or edit a parameter. And so in this case, I'm actually adding a parameter and I've named it view search results count and I'm setting the value to one. What that means is that every time a view search results event happens, there's gonna be a view search results count parameter with a value of one, which means that the sum of that will be the number of searches that happen on the site. So I've already created this. It's been working for a little while, so it's been populating the metric. So if we go to custom definitions and then we go to custom metrics and searches, You'll see here, so this is taking this view search results count parameter and it's associating it with this custom metric named searches. Now, if we go back to Looker Studio, I added default channel grouping and sessions to the table we created. And I imported the searches metric by going and opening the J4 data source and in the lower left, clicking refresh fields. So if I want to use it, what I can do instead, like here, I had renamed event count searches, if you recall. So if we click here, you see it's actually event count. I just renamed it searches. Well, so let's delete that. And then I'm going to go and I'm going to add that searches custom metric. And now I can do something that I wanted to do, which is I can actually now get rid of this filter because searches should only count when, so actually this is super interesting. I've got search term as a dimension in this chart. And what you can see is that now, because I had the dimension of default channel group and then I had search term, the majority of traffic coming from organic search doesn't do any searches at all. It's actually a relatively small number that do that you see down here. For now, we're gonna get rid of that, but you can see now, so if I wanted to get rid of the search term here, now I can see by channel how many searches I'm generating. And then this is just another metric that I can use in report, the searches metric. So if I wanted to add, say, conversions, I can add that. So searches just works like any other metric. So now I can add it and, and see how many people searched and how many people converted and whatever else I'm interested in looking at. I really like adding custom metrics to count events, especially when I add custom events, I'll pretty much always add a custom metric to do that. Before I show you that we can use this new custom metric to create a report in GA4, I'm gonna show you how to make this report, I think a little bit more useful. 
So what we're going to do, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of conversions and sessions for now because we're going to go back to reporting on search term. And the reason it, it doesn't make sense to have conversions in there is that this search term is an event scoped dimension. In J4, we have user scope dimensions, we have session scope dimensions, and we have event scope dimensions. And the broadest is user and the most granular is event. And when I'm using an event scope dimension, it really limits the kinds of metrics that I can report on. So the dimension is associated with a specific event, so it doesn't really have a concept of things like average engagement time associated with it because it's just a specific event. Enough of that. Let's look at how to make this more useful. One thing I'm going to point out here is that we have the search terms here. Some of them are capitalized, some of them aren't. And interestingly, those are being treated all as different. Like if it's capitalized, it's a different search term than if it isn't. But I don't actually care about that. What I want to do is see the deduplicated search terms, whether they're capitalized or not. So I'm going to show you how to do that. And I'm going to show you else, something else really cool. So we go to resource and manage added data sources. And this is the sample GA4 data source. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to add a field. I'm going to call this field search term link. And I'm going to do a couple of cool things here. So first of all, I'm going to start by making this a hyper hyperlink. And the capability I'm using here is you can add your own metrics and dimensions to a data source with formulas. So I'm going to create a formula. So I'm going to start by creating a hyperlink. Now, here's the cool thing. So this sample data source comes from this website. And I'm going to do a search here. Just search for resource, kind of boring, but okay. Now you see up here in the URL, it does the same thing. So it's got the domain name slash question mark S equals resource. What I'm going to do is I'm going to copy all the way to here and I'm going to go back to my formula and I'm going to put some quotes around this. Oh, and I need to do one more thing. So concat is a formula that combines two strings and put them together. Let's say concat this with the search term. That's going to be the URL that the hyperlink points to. Then I need what's the text going to be. And here's where I'm going to do lower and then search term. And so what that's going to do is it's going to lowercase the search terms. There's my formula. So hyperlink concat. Concat just takes two pieces of text or more than two pieces of text and it combines them together. And if you look here, so this is the URL of the search result and then I'm just sticking the search term on the end of it. So that's going to be what it links to and the text of the link is going to just be the lowercase search term. So I'm going to save that. And I'm going to change this to search term link sort of annoying. It's got this blank row up here. We'll show you how to get rid of that in a second. Now from here, so if I wanted to click worksheets, it's going to open the site and it's going to do a search for worksheets. And what I like about that is that I just, I find site search is like really valuable for understanding what people are looking for, which I might use to improve navigation on the site. But it can also be really helpful from an SEO standpoint, just thinking about are there topics that people are searching for that I don't have well covered on my website and creating that content can have SEO benefits and at the same time provide a better user experience for people on the site. Because if they're looking for it, we want to provide good content. So what I might want to do is from that point of view, from dental health, I go here and is this providing good, I mean, this is a perfect example that the first result is this emotional and mental health for Parkinson's, healthy Parkinson's communities. So these are the, the results that are coming up for dental health. And what I want to do is if that's what somebody is searching for, then I really want to create and promote content that's related directly to dental health. So that's what I like about it. And again, you can see that it's all deduplicated to lowercase. 
Okay, let's wrap up with creating a report in J4. So if I wanna add a, a custom report, I go to reports, and then I click on this library icon, and you'll need to have edit permissions to be able to do this. And then I'm going to create a new report, and blank report. Then for dimensions, I'm gonna add search term, apply that. And then for metrics, this is where the what I showed you of creating that custom dimension is really helpful. So it shows up here, actually the custom dimension show up first. So I'm gonna add that, apply that. Now again, when I was in Looker Studio, I was using a, a different site's data. I don't actually have that much search activity on my website, but you can see here, so it's got, so actually GA4 is one of the top search terms. Now what I can do is I can save this report and I'm just gonna call it site searches, save that, go back. Then what I'd like to do is just add it to my standard engagement navigation. So it just shows up over here. So to do that, that's the lifecycle collection. So I'm gonna edit this collection and I'm gonna find the report I just saved, site searches. I'm gonna drag this down and save to current collection. Now you can see over here, we have site searches. So that's it for creating a custom report in GA4. Hope you found that helpful. If you did, please click the like button and share comments if you have any questions or comments about site search reporting. Love to hear them. Check out 2octobers.com for more videos and blog posts related to GA4 and Looker Studio. And if you need help with GA4 or Looker Studio, we do both training and setups for organizations. So please reach out. Thanks so much for watching.